what's next for you in terms of M MMA? Uh, I know you had uh, eight fights, eight MMA fights, uh, uh, seven wins and one no contest. Uh, I know that you have uh, uh, that you tested positive twice. Uh, well, once, really. Once, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, do you have a standing ban on, competi on competing in MMA? No. Or? No. Uh, I mean, I had a one-year suspension, and uh, at, that was 2015, 16. I, believe, I can't remember now, but it expired a while ago. I had one fight last year. Um, it's just, you know, for me, fighting is very difficult because most people who fight at the level I fight in, they only do one thing. They only do one thing. They don't do, you know, and people that know me know this perfectly well. I wear a lot of hats. And, you know, perhaps my, maybe a quality, maybe a deficiency. It depends on how you look at it. Or maybe I'm overly ambitious. I end up doing too much. I run a jiu-jitsu team. I run a school. I'm a father. Um, I teach a lot of seminars around the world. I... I, I've gone back to school now. I'm doing my master's degree in, at, at UNLV. Um, you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot to do. You know, and fight professionally. You kidding me? I'm going against guys that you know they'll do anything. You know, and, and that's just been a problem in my life. Maybe it's a mistake in hindsight. I should have just stuck to fighting and not, never opened a gym, never taught seminars. But the truth is, I like to teach. You know, I really I hope that comes across when I teach. I really have a passion for teaching. And once I started, when I moved to Vegas, my plan was only to fight. But once people started bombarding me with questions and they wanted to learn from me and they started asking me to corner them, I liked it. You know, so I kind of got carried away. In hindsight, it might have been a mistake. But at the same time, I don't regret where I'm at. I'm a very happy person. I did what I wanted to do. I'm one of the few jiu-jitsu practitioners who managed to be successful gi, no gi, and MMA. Uh, very few people do that. And, and it's successful as an instructor, to, at least to some degree. So I feel complete as far as jiu-jitsu. I feel like I've, I've done what I wanted to do, and I have other ambitions now. Like, my ambitions are no longer in the cage. My ambitions are elsewhere. Still, you know, in the fight realm, but I, I don't get a kick out of winning a medal or having my hand raised anymore. I have other things that, to me, are more important in my life right now. Still, like I said, in, in the fight realm, but, you know, things that, to me personally, would be more gratifying than winning another ADCC, for example.